Okay, so here's the question. And think about this, please answer it out loud. I'm just kidding. You don't need to do that. But honestly, are you living your life expecting the imminent return of Jesus Christ? Are you, do you really think you know what the Lord can come at any minute? And the reason I ask is because these days, lately, more and more, I've heard people just basically say, I don't think the Lord's coming back anytime soon. I, I've heard this. And listen, there's all kinds of things happening. And I think part of this is because there's a lot of guys out there that are creating a lot of hype, okay? That are saying like, oh, you know, watch this, watch this, watch this. This is coming up. This is going to happen. And, you know, probably the rapture could, or the rapture could happen on that day. It could happen on any day, okay? That's how we live our lives. But also we live with that understanding the rapture could happen, but we also live like we're going to be here right? Because we're told to occupy. And the reason I say all of this is because in Luke chapter 12, basically starting in verse 35 and going on down the line to verse 48, you'll see Jesus talks about this very exact thing about people watching and waiting for him. And he says this, you also be ready for the son of man is coming at an hour. You do not expect. That's that's it. I just dropped my little clicker thing, but I think I'll be all right. That's it. He's coming back at an hour you do not expect. And then he goes on and it basically explains there's two types of people in the world. The ones that are watching, that live with that reality, and the ones that don't. And he says that those that don't, those that don't live that way, they have become lazy, bad stewards. They have become, honestly, in this case, abusive even to the people around them. They're living as if they're, you know, there's, I mean, it's like that mindset, like, oh, the Lord's not coming back, oh, whatever. You know, that's, it's a foreign to them. And there's plenty of time to repent. Maybe, maybe at best, they, they are thinking that way. I don't know. I don't know and I don't want to know. Because honestly, this is what the Lord is telling us to do. To be those. I mean, he says, be ready. Be ready for the return of the Lord. Just understand, this is a mindset. It, it's something that happens in your mind. It's something that happens in your heart where you literally consider the fact that the Lord could come today and you live your life accordingly. And it's important. It's an important thing. If Jesus went out of his way on many occasions to talk about this, understand something. It's important. So I just want to remind everyone. I know a lot of you people I've, I've talked with you in chats and different things online. So I know that your mindset's already there, but it's always good to be reminded, right? Because we can get sucked into the day by day routine. We can get um, easily distracted and we can also get discouraged, right? We, we can hear the lies that the enemy is telling us and say, hey, look, no, this isn't going to happen. You know, you're you're putting your hope in something that's never going to happen. Look, stop that and put your uh, attention upon what God's word says to do. And that's to count on that the Lord could come at any minute. You know, at, at a time when you don't expect. You're going to be just hanging out and. Ta-da, right? So be encouraged with this today. If your mindset's wrong, if you're in that doom and gloom, like, eh, we're going to be stuck here forever. I can't do it for another 10 years. Look, that's not the way to think. The way to think is, man, the Lord could come back at any minute. And what's my life look like right now? How am I living? 
and um, think those things through. So anyways, may the Lord richly bless you. I hope that um, this ministered to you and please take a minute, leave me a comment, like and subscribe as usual, and I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.